Well, it is time for our Same Six Wednesday event for the lovely month of November. Uh, if you're not familiar with this project, there are six artists. We each sent the others six items and there are six videos that if you follow the first link down in the bottom, you'll see what each of us did with our six items this month. We all use the same items and we do some kind of something. We do not have to do a journal page. We do not have to do, um, you can do whatever you want. If you want to do something three dimensional, that's fine. Whatever anybody wants to do, they can do. Now they have six items that they're supposed to try to use and they have to use, they have to use at least three of them. Um, so far I've been pretty good and I've been able to use my six items. There also is this clause where you can add things from your stash to the six items to um, add to your page. That's, that's just part of the thing. So this month's items came from Barbara Clark and her channel name is Barbara Clark. Um, she sent this really pretty flourish, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, this Alice in Wonderland card that says, Curtsy, while you're thinking what to say, it saves time. And I think that's really fun. And uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it just yet, but we'll figure it out. Um she sent and I'm pretty sure she sent this basically as a texture plate. It is a very thick piece of cardstock and it has um, very thick texture paste on it. So it's really cool and I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work but we're going to play with it. She sent this big piece of mulberry paper that it, it's very open and delightful. It's, it's very soft and light and airy. Makes me think of angel wings. She sent this fun piece of painty paper, which is kind of um, metallic but kind of not and honestly with the card it made me think of cards so uh, I, ha I sort of have an idea I have no idea what I'm going to do with things but I have an idea where I want to take the page and she sent this fun map um, I'm not sure exactly what state this is but it has a bunch of counties on it. It's a pretty cool map. And I am adding some things, I think. Uh, I gathered up some stuff just because that way I've got it if I want to use it. I have some cardstock. I have some little heart doilies. I took out some playing cards. For some reason, these two little moths m may get in there. I'm not sure. And I got out a giant playing card. So I have sort of, I have an idea where things might head, but I'm not sure exactly yet. So we're going to just, we're going to try to find out. Um, the first thing I want to do is knock back the color on this piece of white cardstock and um, to do that I'm thinking I'm going to try to use this as a stamp. I don't know if it will work but we're going to try it out. Um, I'll be working here probably kind of trying to work away and I will talk to you when you get back. When I get back. I will. I'll be back. <laughs> can't talk. Might be one of those days. Anyways, um, 
I'll be back soon and we'll talk about what I did.
that took a little while. Sorry about that, guys. This is going to be a long video, but um, I'm very pleased with it. I, whew, it was a little rough, but, and I added an awful lot of my things, but I used all six of the other things. Um, for some reason, everything wanted to be Alice in Wonderland and the Queen of Hearts. So, I needed more things that made this head towards the Queen of Hearts. So, um, I used the texture plate, texture piece as a background. Now, I had thought I might turn it into a, um, guard, uh, one of the Queen's little guards, uh, as well, but it is so heavy that I just sort of felt like it was going to make an awful bulky thing. So, um, I made a pocket out of a giant playing card and I used the Queens wherever I took them off the playing cards, um, to, to the little cues with the hearts to dress up things. Um, I used the actual Alice card as my words or statement or jumping off point on the page. I used the three different kinds of paper. I had the matte paper, I had the painty paper, and I have the mulberry paper. I made the queen's dress out of the mulberry paper and made a little tag with the queen. Then I made her several of her guards. Um, these two guys, of course, are the elite because, you know, they have the silver sparkly um, designs on their uniforms. And then these are the lesser guards because they're to, I don't know, protect the borders or something. But um, these, this is the queen's guards and the queen and our page is complete and i hope you guys enjoyed this i had fun but i'll tell you it was kind of a struggle at first and if i hadn't have added the things i don't know where i would have gone with it um i do really like it i like the fact that the texture plate had sort of the diamonds in it um to go with the queen. Um, I used the Jacks and the King out of the card deck that I pulled the little queen out of. And I just, I'm just real pleased with how it came out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, down in the description box, there is a link to the next video at the top of the hop list. And if you click on each person's top link, you will get right back around here. You'll travel the hop and I hope you enjoy this. I, I hope it's fun for you and I hope you've enjoyed everything. Um, again, I used all six items and that made me really pleased. Uh, I like that I was able to do that. So go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.